Hi, I'm Cathy Chamberlain from Barefoot Caravans and I'm here today to give you a tour of the Barefoot Caravan. I get lots of people asking me what the Barefoot's like inside, not only just from what you can see on the surface but also what's inside the cupboards, what the storage is like, how we make the bed and that sort of thing. So I'm going to do my best to give you a tour of the caravan now. So starting off with the table which is normally stored in the wardrobe, it slots into the floor here on a base and it's got the, the, the Desmo leg underneath so um, you know, it just pops into the floor and the top goes on. I'll put that back in the wardrobe now. So the table slots into the wardrobe here, this is the wardrobe. You've got a hanging space in here and a space for t-shirts and that kind of thing on the top and at the very bottom is a, um, a, sh a cupboard for shoes as well and the table base slots into the side And the leg just slots in there as well. And I'm going to show you the kitchen now. We've got uh, two burners and a, a sink in here as well. Uh, the burners operate from gas, obviously. A uh, central heating system here, which has got is a combi 4E heating system, so it's blown air heating and hot water. We also have a 30 litre water tank on here, which I'll show you under the seats in a minute. Uh, here, a drawer for utensils, fridge, which is a two-way fridge, so it's, it runs from uh, 12 volt and 240. There's a little freezer section in there as well. And then storage here for uh, food and um, pans and that kind of thing. At the top here, this slides across, this is much deeper than you think, it's room for plates and um, utensils and more food and that kind of thing. And then over here as well we've also got storage which is great for mugs and glasses, uh, anything that you can want to squash in tight so that when you're travelling nothing moves around. And last but not least there's a great big cupboard here which is full of our show brochures at the moment. I tend to put clothes in here though when I'm travelling. So t-shirts and jumpers and that kind of thing, and then hanging in the wardrobe as well. So just having another look, this is the two burner hob, sink, um, utensil drawer. They all have push button catches so that you can uh, they can stay closed when you're travelling. Here's the fridge and a little freezer section as well. And this is the storage cupboard for food and pans and that kind of thing. Um, I just want to show you the lights and the curtains and that kind of thing. So we've got black outlined curtains which pull across here. All the windows have uh, fly screens and black outlines as well. And the windows open here and, and push out outwards to whichever level that you want. The front window doesn't open. Uh, I'll show you under the seats too. So under this seat, you've got a, an onboard water tank which holds 30 litres, uh, which is really handy so you can arrive somewhere and get going with water. The water's drawn in from an aqua roll and um, a pump which we provide, which is on the outside. And this is your heating system, so it's a Truma Combi heating system that also holds 10 litres of water so you can have a ready supply of hot water. There's a little bit of storage in here. Most of the storage is under these other seats, which I'll show you. Under now. here, there's um, storage under the front of the caravan. So this is completely empty at this end, so great space for bedding. And then the same here as well at this side. So the cushions just pop down. And under here, we've got loads of storage under this side. There's a leisure battery stored in the, uh, in the black box. Apart from that, this is completely empty. To make the bed in the caravan is really easy. The slats pull across into the middle and you just push the uh, push the side cushions in. So if you want to have it as a, as a single, you can have it a single like that or pull the whole thing across. It's five foot nine wide and six foot long. Just show you some of the electrics in the van now. Uh, over here we've got the bank of sockets. There's a three pin socket, 12 volt, USB port and a TV aerial which is on, mounted on the roof. We also have a three pin socket here. For those of you that don't know, uh, the three pin sockets work when you're hooked up to the mains and the 12 volt sockets run off the leisure battery which is under the seat um, and that will operate when you're off grid. The lights also operate off, off the 12 volt 
um, system so you can have the lights running even if you're off grid and because they're LED lights they don't use much power. While we're here as well I'll just show you there's a roof vent here which is great for letting out lots of um, lots of the heat of the day and again that's got fly screens and blackout blinds on it as well. So I'll just show you the central heating controls over here above the hob so um, you can set the temperature for the van which is on a thermostat so whichever temperature you choose don't need it on today it's nice and warm uh, we've got the temperature for the water as well you can have eco or a hot setting and you can choose whether you have the heating running off gas and electric gas or electric or a combination of both so if you were off grid you definitely use the gas bottles if you're hooked up to the mains you'd go on one of the electric settings so we're in the bathroom now um, compact but much bigger than you'd think there's um, a toilet in here and storage at the back, There's plenty of room for towels and toiletries and that sort of thing. There is a shower which can either be hooked up here or used as the uh, over the sink. And the shower's on a deliberately long hose as well so that you can take it out of the back window and hose down dogs, surfboards or anything else. And we've got this really nice duck board on the floor of the shower. Um, that lifts out so if you want the extra height for standing in the shower that's fine. Uh, by day you might want to keep that in. Last couple of electrical bits on the way out of the caravan. This is the main control panel for the caravan. So on here you've got uh, your leisure battery. You can see where you're up to with the leisure battery. There's uh, scales of um, 1 to 5. And then also that tells you it's got a water level indicator on there as well to tell you how much water you've got on board. So ours is currently empty which is why it's flashing red. This uh, tap button is what you press to pump the water around the system once you've got the water in and then the system's primed and ready to go and then you can switch this whole panel off like this all the lights go off everything as you leave the caravan at least on the van on the way out through the door you can see we've got a wine rack here um, which lots of uh, lots of people find very very appealing um, you can see the step it's got a low step into the van which is really useful for um, you don't need to have a, an additional step or anything to get in here and on the back of the door is a bin, which is really handy as well. And coat hooks for wet coats and that sort of thing. I'm going to give you a quick tour around now the outside of the van and um, any special features that the barefoot has. So as you can see, we're actually filming from my driveway because we're in the middle of uh, lockdown. Well, hopefully soon to be released from lockdown. So uh, that's why I've got a dog dashing about and we're, we're on the driveway. But um, as you can see, the barefoot, very streamlined and aerodynamic. Um, at the front here, we've got the gas box, which has got room for two 3.9 kilogram propane gas bottles. All the barefoot caravans come with a spare wheel, and uh, we provide the uh, regulator as well, the, the gas hookup. The barefoot comes with an anti snaking coupling, which is an Elko um, model, and we provide a hitch lock as well with it uh, for added security. We have four corner studies on the caravan, nicely hidden within the design. And round at this side here, you can see we're hooked up for electrics. So you've got the electric hookup, and you've also got, this is where we plug in the water pump. So the water goes, is pumped through from an aqua roll into the 30 litre water tank on board. So Jasper here is helping with this demonstration. This is the toilet cassette. So it's neatly tucked away here, and to get it out and empty, you just pull it out of the, uh, out of the back, back here, and it comes on a wheelie handle. So I hope that's been a useful tour of the Barefoot. The Barefoot is very much um, designed with novice, new to caravanners in mind. Most of our customers have not owned a caravan before, uh, and we've made it as easy to use as possible, lightweight. Um, I can manoeuvre it around here on the, my driveway, no problem, tow it on my own. Uh, and many of our customers do that either in couples, families or um, individual travellers. So look forward to seeing you all soon and uh, stay safe.